Weather at Kennedy is go. ADR, I hope you have a, a good flight and enjoy that, uh, that new vehicle we're giving you. ADR, we thank you uh, very much and we sure we will. Atlantis' onboard computers are now transitioning into the terminal countdown configuration. PLT, configure fuel cell essential bus flow switches. RTC, PLT, essential buses to fuel cell complete. Copy, uh, KSL altimeter 3020. The orbiter access arm is now being retracted away from the vehicle. It can be extended in just a few seconds if necessary. The three main engines are being gimbaled and positioned for launch. Retraction of the gaseous oxygen vent hood is now underway. RTC PLT, caution warning, memory clear is complete. No unexpected messages. After that, all crew members close the lock your visor and initiate O2 flow. To go to take Atlantis back to the skies. I will be happy to do that. We'll see you in about 11 days. T minus 35 seconds. In the next few seconds, thousands of gallons of water will be dumped on the platform to help absorb the shock of the 7 million pounds of thrust produced by the shuttle. The most 15 seconds. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 8 7. We are go for the start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of Atlantis on a mission to study planet Earth. Roger roll, roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling. Atlantis is underway on its 13th trip to space, rolling on course for a 57 degree formation orbit for an hour north and south in climb orbit at an altitude of 160 nautical miles. Speed is already 350 miles an hour. Three engines on Atlantis are now throttling back to two-thirds throttle to prepare the spacecraft to pass through the area of maximum air pressure and go supersonic. Second since launch, Atlanta speed now 1,000 miles an hour. Altitude seven miles, five miles east of the Kennedy Atlanta, Space Center. Go throttle up. Roger, go throttle up. Atlanta's three main engines are now back at full throttle. All systems on the spacecraft are go. One and a half minutes since liftoff, Atlantis has already burned more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant and weighs less than half of what it did at launch. Atlantis altitude 84,000 feet, 12 miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. Atlantis speed now 2,200 miles an hour. Flight controllers are standing by for burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Booster officer confirms a good separation and jettison of the twin solid rockets. Atlantis now in its second stage, its three main engines continuing to operate well at full, full throttle. Atlanta's performance, nominal. And we see nothing that's abnormal whatsoever, Joey. And the Earth looks just as beautiful as it always did. 